How do you shoot an eye guide and how long does it take? That's what we're covering in this video. Hi everyone, we've just arrived at this residential property that doubles as an Airbnb and we are going to take you through the eye guide process in real time. We're using the eye guide Planix today. This is the photographer's 360 camera. You're going to see just how quick and easy it is to capture accurate floor plans and a 3D tour. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is get our Planix and then pair it to our phone or tablet. To pair the eye guide with your phone or tablet, just go into your Wi-Fi settings and you will see Planix show up there. Just click that. The password is on the bottom of the eye guide. Now that the eye guide is paired with our phone, we're just going to put it on the tripod and then remove the lens cover on the top. And to do that, you just give it a little bit of a pinch and pull up to the top. Now we'll hide this gear so it's out of sight and we will start the eye guide at the front door of this home. The eye guide is connected and we are almost ready to go. First, we have to head into the app here and enter our project name, which is the address. Give the wall thickness for the property as well, which is what you need your tape measure for, and then we'll be ready to go. To measure the exterior wall thickness, get your tape measure, and you are going from the exterior cladding to the interior wall, not the trim. And there is a heavy trim here that's about two inches. So I'm going to take my measuring tape, put it to the outside, and we are at 24 centimeters here. So I'm going to take that 24 centimeters and put it into the project. Immediately you will see this screen, which tells you to name the floor and enter that wall thickness again. We are starting on the main floor here. It will already come up as an option for you. So I'm just going to click main floor. Our exterior wall thickness we know is 24 centimeters. It is not below grade. We are above grade here. So again, click create. And now we are all set and ready to go with this eye guide. When it comes to placement for the eye guide, I really like symmetry. It's not always possible, but I like for the eye guide to be placed in the center of each room as much as possible. And sometimes you need to grab multiple shots as well. We need to open up the closet doors. We need to be able to measure the entire property. But to start here in the foyer, I'm just going to bring the eye guide right to the center. And then I'm going to just head over into the kitchen so I'm out of sight from the eye guide. And now I click the capture button and it processes the full 360. Once that processing is complete, you can enter the frame again. You'll hear the beep, which tells you that it's done. And now I'm going to open up this closet and get my shot in here. Line of sight is something very important to remember. And basically what that means is wherever you are, the camera needs to see where it just was. So I'm moving the camera over here to grab inside the closet. This is a pretty clear closet, but I'm just going to move some of the coats out of the way so the laser can scan the back of that closet. And now I'll hide on the other side. I'm going to click my capture button and it processes that shot. Once it beeps, we know we're good to grab it. Now I'm going to head over right here to the middle of this main living space. We are in a larger space here. So one of the things you can do instead of running to hide and then doing the scan, you can do the two shot. So what you'll do is activate the two shot here and you'll see when you do so it turns blue and it's going to take two shots. The first one you'll see I'll click scan and it does the opposite side and then a message comes up telling me to go over to the other side. There it is. Please walk around the camera and press the scan button to capture the second image. So I do so and it captures the other side. This is really useful for large spaces. This room is done so now let's head over to this side area where the piano is keeping in mind line of sight. So we need to make sure as we scan this room over here, we're placing the Planix in an area that can not only capture all of the walls here, but also it would be able to see where we just were in that other space. I'm going to do the two shot here as well.
Okay, the scan for this area is done. I like to show outdoor spaces. Not everyone includes the outdoor spaces on their floor plans. I like to, especially when you have a property like this where the outdoor space is so important. All right, and we're good. We have the foyer, the closet, the side area where the piano is. This beautiful great room right here. Let's head over to the eating kitchen. I'm going to keep the eye guide here close to this window for a couple different reasons. We have HDR on, so we will be able to see inside and outside on the 360 of this. But also we have the door open to the laundry room, so our measurements are going to slide right in to give us that accurate floor plan. Now if this was a really messy space down there, I would get one with the door closed. Also, you can hide scans, so if there is a space, so the public can't see it. I'm going to grab one right here. I always take more than enough. I'm just going to duck under here and grab this one. And now, one closer to the sink, so people can see this side of the island and all of this cabinetry. So again, I'll just duck under here and grab my scan. Great, so now let's head over into that laundry area and grab those. Now I mentioned at the beginning we need to open up closet doors. Cabinets in the kitchen, you don't have to worry about. Um, the drafters will be able to still put the floor plans together. It's the closets to show the walls behind that are really important. So down here we have a laundry room and then we also have access to the garage. So we will be grabbing a, a couple of scans from here. So first, this would be one I would hide in the eye guide so the public won't see this. So this is just for the floor plan. Remember line of sight. So I had that one that was down there so I know the camera could see where the camera was. And now I will just head over there we need to show the garage, but we also need to show where the entrance to the garage is. This house has some glass on the door, so it would still be pretty obvious. Most homes that we have encountered anyway have a solid door, and you don't know what's on the other side until you open the door. So we grab one scan with the door open, so that again, line of sight, the scan we are going to take in the garage will speak to the scan from here. So line of sight, it will be able to connect all the dots. So I'll just hide around the other side and grab this one. And now we'll grab one in the garage. All right, now this entire side of the home is done. We can head over to the other side. When we started this we took a scan in the foyer. This hallway curves over here. So what I'm going to do is grab a scan from right here, keeping in mind line of sight, so that this scan speaks to that first one we did because it will be able to see where the camera was. All right, and now we'll just head into this main bathroom here. Often you can hide the eye guide, uh, depending on what's here in the bathroom. There's a big mirror there. You can also Photoshop it out after. Grab this scan. Keeping in mind, again, I keep saying it, the line of sight. So we had one that was just outside the door that will speak to that scan we're taking right now. I take way more than necessary. Probably don't need this one, but I'm going to grab it. Head into this bedroom. This bedroom does not have a closet, so we don't have to open this because it's actually wouldn't appear on the floor plan. So here we are in the principal bedroom of this home. I'm going to get one in the center, but just to be able to connect our scans, I want to grab one right here that will connect to the scan we just took from the hall and also 
give us some data for this bathroom and the rest of this space here. I'll do the two shots here. And we have some outdoor space there I'm going to grab, but first let's get this closet. I'll be hiding this from the public. So let's go grab this outdoor space here. So there's an area over here for the toilet. So rather than get multiple scans, I'm going to set it up right here on the edge. So we will be able to capture the data from this area here where the toilet is, the stand-up shower, and also this vanity. Now the entire main floor of this home is now done. Uh, and that didn't take very long. But what we did not grab is the front porch. So let's grab that right now. This home has a great front porch area, really nice outdoor space all around. So this is great to capture. When you're going through and doing your stitch, for the most part, everything will automatically align. The outdoor spaces, sometimes you do have to grab and place into the right position. I would imagine this is one of those. Okay. Let's head in to do the walkout lower level. We can start in the center here. So this is the same shape as upstairs. Nice wide open space. So the main thing we have to change here in the app right now is go into our project and then we're going to change and add the floor. So we'll call this basement. We know our ex exterior thickness is 24 and create. This is a larger space, so I will do the two shot. Okay, head over here. This home has this interesting feature. So there's a bedroom behind here, but it doesn't have a window. So you can open these and get the light from those windows there. So what I will do is get a scan with these open so the drafters can add that opening to the floor plan. I'll just do one scan and hide. We have a little hall there with the bathroom and the two bedrooms. So I will grab a scan right here to capture that data. This office. So that I can capture data from this bedroom, that bedroom, this bathroom, and the living space we were just in, I'm going to grab a scan right here. And now I'll just do these two rooms. So if at any time during the eye guide shoot, you want to check and make sure everything is working well, just click the align button on the bottom and you are able to rotate your most recent scan, if for some reason it doesn't line up. Um, but you can see the coverage. And so this is the floor we just did. And we still have the other half of the basement to do. But you can see it all lines up, looks good. And we can continue on to the other side. We have this games room area here. I will place it center here. I will do the two shot and now head into the utility space. There is some extra wall space back here that we aren't capturing right now. So what I'm going to do is move out this baby seat and this table so I can get the eye guide in there to capture that space. So now because I've moved that, I have a nice scan to hit all of the walls here in this utility room. Now we just have a closet over here and one more closet there, outdoor space, and we're almost done. So 
So I know that placing this camera here, line of sight, will get to the one I took in the main living space when we came down the stairs. This is a walkout lower level, which is a big feature and it's covered from the deck upstairs. <clears throat> so we will just go out here and grab one scan. Another great feature is the real time tagging. So when you are at a property, and this is a great example, this is an Airbnb. So on the floor plan, you might want to add some extra information. So for example, if I go to the front porch area, I can add a real time tag that indicates a large front porch that people can sit on. It's a great way to add some extra information so that as someone is going through the floor plan, they find out some of those interesting, unique details about a property. So it's that easy. That did not take long at all. And this is a pretty big house too. So we have shot all of the eye guide for this property. Before we leave though, we just want to make sure we have everything we need. Trust me, you don't want to get that call a room is missing or that email that a room is missing. So what you can do is go into the align section of the app here and just take a look at the data. With the Planex, it's stitching as we walk through the property, right? So we can now take a look at what we have and make sure all the data is there, that we have complete coverage of this home. We can leave knowing that we are going to generate an accurate floor plan for the client. And at the end, when you are checking to make sure you have all of the data, what you're looking for are blank spaces throughout the middle that will indicate you've missed something. All right, we're all set. It was that easy. So now we are going to head back to the office, take that USB stick, upload everything through Stitch, and our iGuide will be ready in no time.